Hello, this is a review of the 460 Patriot class by Hornby. It's called EC Trench. EC Trench was the chief engineer for the LMS for a while, I do believe, from what you can gather. It's a very good looking loco, and it's also a good runner, which is a plus. It will run very slow or very fast. This number is 45539, just in case you can't see it on the video. It was designed by Sir Henry Fowler for express passenger work in around 1934-ish. I've weighed it and it weighs around 470 grams, but it weighs a bit more now because I've put some, uh, put a bit more weight in the, in the cab, make it a bit, uh, make it balance a bit better. It's a nice shade of Brunswick green, and it's a lot darker green than the earlier models by Ombe, which looks better, I think. Got separate handrails on the tender and on the loco, and it's got drain cocks. They do come in black, but I painted them gold, so as they should be, well, brass. It's strange because it's got. A massive coupling on the front and a tiny NEM coupling on the tender, which don't make sense, does it? It's also got pickups on the tender, well, just on four wheels. It comes with uh, vacuum pipes and a cab crew, and it's got a five pole motor in it which is unusual for a, a railroad model. Take the notice of the lamp, it's, uh, it's from the rear of a tornado. I've just borrowed, I've just borrowed it. It's not got sprung buffers on the front or the tender but it is a railroad version after all you don't expect it I think it cost me about 55 pounds and I got free delivery which was brilliant the cold's a bit of a letdown it uh, doesn't look very realistic but it's just plastic after all a bit, uh, it tends to be a bit shiny. As you can see, it's got shiny coal. I suppose I could always dull it down a bit with a bit of matte paint. You never know. I might do. Just one slight needle. It's got a, a moulding seam straight down the centre of the boiler and chimney. It's not too bad. It's not really noticeable, but it's there. Never mind, I can live with that. No problem. As long as it runs, I'm not. I'm not bothered. Another fault I've noticed. 
This is the last fault. It's got a wonky wheel on the back. Wonky driving wheel on the back. You can, uh, you can just see it when it's uh, on, a, on a piece of straight track. But it still runs alright, so I'm happy. I can live with a bit of a wonky wheel. It's okay. As you can see, there's uh, no painted detail in the cab, but it does come with glazed windows. And for a railroad model, that's unusual. As you can see, the Brunswick green looks a lot darker colour. It's a lot, uh, a lot richer, it's got more depth to it. Looks better than some of the early models, such as the Brunswick Green Tornado, for instance. Anyhow, thanks for watching. I might do a running video on this one again, no camera. Bye.